Hi, welcome once again friends to Nishad Karam Art. Uh, the last video I posted uh, was using the stretcher bars to make a stretcher frame for the canvas. As promised, we're here again. Uh, today, we're going to be actually stretching the canvas onto the frame we in the last video. Uh, I'm using 12 ounce canvas today. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a very heavy canvas. It is still quite durable. It is quite thick and heavy. Um, but the, I, my style of painting, I use lots of acrylics and I use lots of textures. So I need a canvas that is heavy enough to take the weight of the paints and the canvas. Some people use linen, the thinner pre-primed canvas. This is an unprimed canvas. It's a 12 ounce canvas and it's 72 inches wide. So it's quite, a, it's quite, it's quite wide. There are thinner ones as well. But I think you get more for your money by buying it this size. So this this one comes in a pre pre cut five me, five meter length, and it, it's actually quite a good canvas. This one is unprimed, as I said. So here we go. Let me just unpack this. Now sometimes, sometimes. Uh, it is, it is better to have your canvas rolled when it's folded like this there is a disadvantage where so you could get creases and the creases in canvas can actually weaken its durability sometimes it could get torn and ripped and that weakens your canvas so obviously you, your canvas should be really strong because you want it to last for a lifetime basically but nevertheless as i said this one is quite thick it's 12 ounces and it should last and hold your paint really well so this is, as I said, five millimeter, five meters long. And I just wanted to get width. So today I'm using the width of the canvas. So just get one edge. That's open. So this is the open edge here. Right, so that's it. Then. So all we need is again, you need your scissors obviously to cut the canvas and your staple gun to fasten the canvas and pull the canvas onto the stretcher bar. Now some, you could actually get what is called uh, stretcher pliers. It's not that expensive. Um, I prefer to use my hands because sometimes with the stretcher pliers, you pull and it actually rips the canvas. So for me, I, I'm accustomed to using my hands. So I use that and then sometimes uh, you may need a hammer depending on if you have a little edge and you, you get a, an uneven surface at the corners especially which hopefully if you do your stretch about perfectly well then you shouldn't have that problem so just contingency plan if you do need this then uh, you'll be sorted you wouldn't have to worry about it then with the staples i'm using again last in the last video when i was making the stretch bar, i talked about the two different thicknesses now now that you're you're fastening and you're pulling the canvas over the frame you don't necessarily have to use a very thick or deep staple Right, because sometimes the staple may not go straight down into the pie depending on the material it may leave a space which could cause this, the canvas to become really loose which obviously you don't want you want your canvas to be quite firm because obviously you're putting paint on it and again your canvas must be rigid and firm enough so that the paint doesn't over time fall over so so then this is the bar the frame we stretched the other day uh, one thing about the frame that I forgot to mention in the last video, these frames, the, one of the good things with these frames are, because they're pre-cut on each corner, they're the spaces for the wedges. Now the wedges, again over time, what happens is as the canvas becomes loose, the frame right now it stays, it's in one shape. So canvas, they stretch over time. And with the stretcher bars, there are these stretcher pegs that you can insert into these corners here and you tap them and what it does is it, it opens out the frame just a tiny bit and it re-stretches and tensions the canvas and that ensures that the canvas isn't too, as we say, limbery or too uh, loose. All right, you want it to be taut. So here we go, so I'm gonna take them out. Canvas. And remember, this is the flat side, this is the curved side. So this is the surface that you want your, the, the space that you want your canvas to come over. So I'm actually working opposite, putting it down. Now to avoid any wastage, you don't just want to put it down like that and then cut this end, cut this end. 
right? You need to think it through really carefully. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to start in this corner, leaving all the excess because you do get that. And what you need to do is, you could leave about about 10 centimeters excess on on all four edges. Right? That should give you enough to pull over and staple. Because if you do it too short, then you won't have enough and then you waste a piece of canvas or it's, it's not uh, used effectively, basically. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna leave about 10 or 12 excess, pulling it across, making sure it's coming across there, coming across there, that's fine. Double check it. Just going to make sure, measure. Number 10. Just mark that. And then, enough on this side. Cut, cut this way. 10. So let's just fix this properly. Bear with me, sorry. Check it. Yep. Good. Now let's use the table edge as a guide for the cutting. There you go. Okay. Mark is there. So here we are. You can see we have enough to come across, come across, come across, come across. Now the other the other benefit of cutting that excess uh, is not just for stretching it over. Sometimes when you do get a commission, some people if it makes it, it makes it easy for shipping because you can unstretch the canvas and you can roll it, and you have enough excess. So when the customer or the client gets the canvas. Some, it gives them a bit of flexibility in terms of frame choice whereas if you make it too exact then obviously the customer they have limited options in terms of the stretching or the framing uh, according to their own taste so I always give a bit extra um, so that the customer is quite happy that is if they only request the canvas to be unmounted or uh, yeah, unstretched basically so you line it up Make sure we have enough space. Right. So the starting point is usually we start on one end of the longest side and we start in the middle. So I'm just going to start there making sure. Just pull out the excess on either side. Pull it down. I'm going to start in the middle here. Right. Start in the middle. Now, the, the technique with stretching canvas is as you do one side, you do the same thing to the opposite side to keep that tension going, all right? So you pull it, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna turn it around. Making sure the excess is off. That's where I staple. And as you pull, you'll see, if I pull, you'll see these little waves coming up. That's why you pull on the opposite side and that's gonna straighten now. So you'll see at the end, these lines will sort of disappear. And hopefully we'll have a really taut, firm canvas at the end. We'll pull it. Now the trick is as well, it's not to over pull it. This is quite a small canvas. If this was a larger canvas, <clears throat> what would happen is the middle bar would sort of flex in the middle and you have sort of curve like that, which is you don't want that at all. If it's a bigger canvas, you may have a centerpiece, which means that the bar wouldn't flex. So if you over pull it, you don't want to create that uh, bend in the middle. So I'm not pulling it too too tight, just enough where you get that from the wind, stretch it there, stretch out that excess, and I think that's good enough. Straight there. Make sure you hold that tension. Right. Now we're going to do the other side. So turn it. So again, you see these belly, this sort of wave there, we want to get rid of that. 
So we pull this side, you don't want to pull it too tight because we're going to stretch that side as well. Again, keep pulling the excess out. Pull that. And do the other side. So now, this is going to get the final tension. Again, pull the excess. Right away, you can see it's getting a bit in the middle. You want it to be nice and firm. And again, we're gonna continue the process, working your way out. Always leave the corners for last. Because uh, sometimes you do end up with some waves at the corner here and that's, the, that's, a, that's a nightmare. You really wanna get your entire canvas face really nice and smooth. So, we continue. I'm going to start again from where I started off. So again, pull. Pull all the excess. Keep pulling. Do the other side. Pull. Get the excess. Again, the opposite side. Again, you pull, make sure you pull, get rid of the excess, get rid of that, pull it down. Right. Do the same thing, you pull in, get rid of the excess. Tensioning up. Yeah. Put a few more in here. Gonna do opposite side. Until you get to the corners until there's about until you're about 10 centimeter away from either corner and then we look at how there's a special fold there's several different folds that you can do I'll try to do a variation of one or two and once we get to that point I'll clarify that on Staples. Remember to repull, don't lose that tension. The 
Sí. Sí. Get a nice sound as well, Sana. So, yeah, continue, carry on. So once you get to the end, it's a good idea to pull sort of diagonal. So you pull opposite, sort of diagonal. And then you pull here, get that stretching in there. Diagonal pull. Get this dress out. Pull diagonal again. Diagonal. Right. We're almost there. Keep checking. Always good to check if there are any if you feel for any sort of like wavy bumpiness that you need to stretch out so it's smooth all the way around which is good so it's very good continue on is it Right. So, pretty much staple all the back, and again, even from the back, is quite sturdy. And now for the corners. So, now the corners, as I said, there's several different ways. Some people, so for example, what some people do is they straighten out one side and they make a horizontal cut on this side and they fold that down and they fold this down like this uh, I try not to cut the canvas at all because it means then again you give the client that flexibility the options in terms of framing if you do have to take it off uh, remember if you take it off then this entire face on this side is going to be about, about 15 to 20 centimeters of excess that they can play with but all here obviously there won't be any paint on this all right so the corners, one way you could do it is you hold the edge like this and you pull it again to that diagonal over there. So sort of like 90 degrees. You flip this side up, making sure you get it down and then you tuck that in and you could pull it down like that. And you get a nice neat fold that you can staple. But some people, as I said, they just fold it like that get this corner like this tuck this one inside here like that and you get a nice neat fold so yes guys so I've managed to tuck this both sides in and I've managed to finish this side off you can see all four sides neatly tucked in and this is your finished stretched canvas you see it's quite taut firm and this is exactly how uh, you want your canvas to be so now uh, the next step is obviously 
priming the canvas. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Hit the notification button to receive more videos like these. And leave your comment below. Please. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned next time.